Next week, city leaders will talk about ordinances which, if passed, would designate the famous Whetstonian building a local landmark. And there's a good chance you've seen this building near State and Union Streets and wondered what it was. City leaders say it is considered to be one of the last remaining historic commercial buildings in the La Villa neighborhood. And I spoke with a local historian who told me about its unique past and the man who took that history to the next level. For years, I would be driving down North Jefferson Street and I'd be so curious about this building. You can see why it is so eclectic. Everywhere you look is something neat to look at. And that's the reason why city leaders are now looking at a plan to make this a landmark here in Jacksonville. And it's not just this building, it's also the building right next door. Pictures on the wall, musical instruments galore. Trinkets you likely won't find anywhere else. An entire building full of stories. But for this story, we've got to take you back to the man who helped make this building what it was, Walter Whetstone. He was a folk artist. He accumulated all this stuff, and I say stuff, some of it was beautiful, some of it was just trash, but he arranged it in beautiful ways both inside and out and made his little building a curiosity. He famously said, if the Smithsonian could be named after Smithson, then we'll name this building after me. He called it the Whetstonian. Next week, the city's land use and zoning committee is expected to take up two proposed ordinances, one for the Whetstonian building and one for the building right next door, designating them local landmarks in the River City. As Dr. Wayne Wood with the Jacksonville Historical Society explains, the building next door was also a Whetstone masterpiece. His collection was so big it wouldn't fit in that one two-story building so he bought the building behind it and expanded to that and much of the artwork he did mosaic tiles and things like that are still easily visible as you drive by uh, on Jefferson Street. But even before Whetstone put his special touch on the project, the building itself has quite the history in the La Villa neighborhood. Dr. Wood explains it was built in 1927 and was a grocery store for over 50 years before becoming a nightclub, serving as a known fixture in La Villa's rich history. For Dr. Wood, these stories and one-of-a-kind treasures are what truly make our city unique worthy of honoring and preserving. Jacksonville's stories are made with people like Walter Whetstone, who are a unique individual who did something very unusual and unique and added to the culture and, and the vibrancy of, of our community, and particularly the, the La Villa area. So little buildings like this that may not look like much from the outside, but are a very important memory of this important part of Jacksonville's history. They are the fabric that made La Villa what it was. The city of Jacksonville shining a light on this special building with its own special place in our city's history. And the ordinances are on the agenda for the Land Use and Zoning Committee the day after Election Day. And another fun fact, Dr. Wood told me some years back the Whetstonian was actually featured in an episode of American Pickers. You know that show, of course, on the History Channel.